everybody. Welcome back. This is Tinker77. We are back on Tinker World today, and I wanted to uh, start off by just showing what we did in the last time in the live stream. Um, if you recall, I made over by the Villager Breeder, which is over there. I made a Villager Trading Station. Uh, there was a problem with it, and the problem was that the trading station was so close to the village, which is right there with the doors, that the uh, villagers inside the trading station were breeding. And uh, that was making babies come out and go all over the place, which we don't want. So in the live stream, we moved Villager Trading Station and we moved it from over there to over here. So there it is. And it's working out very, very, very well. So um, I'll just put the map so you can see. <laughs> I've been mapping things out a little bit here. But that's the basic idea. But you can see it's a double wide trading station. It goes all the way around. And these are there are tracks going between where the villager or breeder is. So you can see over here is a track. It's really, really cool. So we probably have some villagers ready to go. And we just go in here. And I can see some villagers in our station ready to be uh, be used. So we'll just go over here and we'll just hit the button here. There they go. Now I wait a few seconds and then I dispatch another one. So let's get them all moving out. So while I'm doing this, I wanted to say, you know, hey, thank you for joining me. If you like this uh, Tinker World, you're liking what's going on here, please hit that like button. That really helps. YouTube counts that as a metric to see how a person is doing with their videos. Um, so that's really helpful. It used to be more subscribers, but now it's more about likes. So. Please, if you have a chance while I'm running back here, hit that like button. I would really, really appreciate it. Okay, so they're going up. Now, sometimes they get stuck in the water streams because, as you know, with water streams, it'll go eight blocks, and then you have a uh, like a sign that will block it, uh, the water stream from going backwards. And so this last one will probably get stuck right at the water or the sign. And there's the break, and so let's see, he'll probably stop right there. So sometimes I'll come around here, and I'll just give him a little nudge. And that'll work. So we're waiting to watch and see these guys go down. There's four of them. Um, they'll eventually drop into an open spot. There's one. See, there we go. Come on, drop. So anyway, we have double amount of space here. A lot of space for trading. Now see, that guy stopped, but then this guy bumps him, and it pushes him along. Now he'll probably stop there as well. And I'll bump him. And then eventually here he'll drop down. And then this guy will drop down here somewhere around this area. Okay. So as you can see, I've been putting up signs that tell me what uh, I have. Various uh, enchantments and things and the prices that they give me. Um, for instance, this guy, though, is a farmer. He'll take 19 wheat to give me an emerald. And use the emeralds then to trade with other things. So that's really good. Down here on the end... We do have mending, which is 32. That's not a great price, but we'll take it. So let's see here. This guy was right here. Now we have a cleric. I haven't been able to uh, check clerics for two reasons. Uh, one is I don't have a lot of rotten flesh, and the other one is I don't have a lot of gold. Uh, I have, I think, one ingot. So I've been just saving one cleric, the purple coat, and chunk chucking all the rest. So we hit the button. Wow, did I do that completely wrong? Uh, during my opening clip, it's probably going to be cut short. I haven't looked at it yet, but uh, I had a sneeze right in the middle of the clip. So I hopefully I'll edit that out correctly. Um, but when I did the sneeze, I accidentally hit the uh, mute button for the mic. And so then I recorded a couple more clips. One of the clips was, hey, I'm going to do a mining session. And uh, then I was down in the mines and I caught a couple clips of me doing some things down there. And I just reviewed it uh, and none of it. None of it was there. None of it's good. No sounds. No recording of me talking. So, yeah, this is going to be a little bit different. So, I did do a mining session. So, right now, why don't you go out, put a comment down, tell me how many diamonds you think I got in this mining session, and then come back, okay, after you pause the video, come back and play some more, and we'll see how I get. Now, I'm going to show you what I picked up. Now, I didn't do a lot of uh, diamonds, I don't think, but here's the valuable resources I picked up. I only got 12 blocks here. Got a lot of coal. I got a lot of iron and, and some stuff here. So let's go and let me dump the iron into the, um, 
the super smelter thing right here. So we have that working. And that'll free up some space. And we'll do the gold. And now we're going to check the diamonds. Okay, so let's just put some diamonds down. And we'll see how many we get. You can see this right with me. We're going to just uncut. Okay, so we just put them out. We're going to get the fortune pick. Here we go. So how many blocks was that? 12? So we received 20 diamonds from this run. 20 diamonds. So if you guessed 20 diamonds, congratulations. Okay, I'm going to uh, sort through all the things that I received from my mining session and then uh, go and uh, get some mending done on all my equipment and then we're going to start the next step of this video. For my next adventure, I want to go to a jungle. I want to go to the jungle so that I can get some melons, so I can get some jungle wood, um, cocoa beans, get some vines, uh, that sort of thing. Not really interested in parrots, but we will probably get parrots at some point. So um, what I have with me here, I do have some obsidian so I can make another portal once I get there. I'm bringing with me an ender chest which has some other things that I need, of course a bed. So we're going to do this an interesting way. We're going to fly. Now my curtain coordinates are negative 812 by 1629 looking on a mist. Um, it says I have to go to 4608 by negative 6144. So we've got a long, long way to go. So I'm going to do this with flying. I've got rockets with me. I also have other uh, rockets in the ender chest, and I'm bringing with me stuff to make more if I need to. So we're just going to see about uh, about doing this. Now, I'm not very good at taking off yet, so I'll just go up here and take off. I'll head that way. So it should be, let's see if I can do this. There we go. So uh, when I get to the jungle, I'll be back. It looks like I found the jungle. Looks good to me. Ooh, the trees. Gotta watch out where we're flying here. I might make the uh, portal right outside. Here's some melons, too. This is a good spot right here. Okay. So we landed. We can get some uh, melons. I can start to get some jungle stuff. This is great. And look, there's a parrot. How cool is that? Okay, so let me get some of uh, this set up. And then we'll be back. Spent a little time here. I created a nether portal and I've lit it. Now I'm not going to go through it because it creates the portal over in the nether. What I'm going to do is I'm going to dig to where this location should be in the nether and make a portal there and then when I light it and come through it should link right up to this one directly. Um, I also made a little house. This is a structure just kind of an outpost so we can have a safe place to be at. Got a bed, got some chests we can store some things, just the basics, okay? So one of the things I did, I did forget to bring with me which is uh, some shears which is bad. So I can't really get any vines. And we got this big, big cavern here. So this is uh, interesting. Anyway, um, I'm going to start to gather up some wood and some saplings. And uh, then I'll see what I have at the end of this. Well, I'm on my way back. I got what I needed and the portal set up. So we'll have to, uh, set up the tunnel to the portal uh, at a later time in another. So I'm heading back now. And when I get back, the next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be making a... Uh, pumpkin and melon farm. Just a simple automated farm. Nothing big. Not a big farm. Just something that I can uh, get some pumpkins and melons from so that I can use that for trading. So uh, once uh, once I get back, I'll start that up and I'll see you there. Here is the start of the pumpkin and melon farm. Now what this is going to be, it's going to be layered towers. So each layer can have four different types or four melons or four pumpkins or whatever. So I'm going to have a layer of melon and at least two layers of pumpkins, maybe three. This is the output. I've got these banks of chests here. You can see we've got the hopper lines coming out and over. This is the center point of the entire tower. And the tower's uh, dimensions are five by five going up. So that's what we're going to work on right now. We're going to do a little bit of this on camera just to show you what I do. And then we will go from there and I'll build it out. Okay, so basically right on top of here is going to be our first layer. And this has to be, it basically looks like a, um, how should I describe it? Three, three out of, okay, it's a five by five wall. But what you have is you have three sections here and then it goes in and then they start, oh, start another three by three wall. It might be easier this way anyway. Okay. 
So it's going to look like kind of like a, not a square, but similar. It's just like the uh, five by five square with the corners taken out. Okay, something like that. Okay, now uh, I gotta get some stuff out of the redstone box. On top of that, we're gonna have pistons going inward. Okay, the pistons will be around the edge. So what we need to have right here is dirt in these spots. Okay, and really these spots should be dirt as well. Now that I think about it. Okay, so the pistons will be sitting right here, facing inward. So what will happen is that the the melons we planted in the corners, and when they'll grow, they'll either grow to either side, and when they do that, the pistons will activate every so much on a timer and push them down into the hopper, which is what we want. Does that make any sense to you? So let me uh, build this out, and then I'll show you how it looks when I get done. So the tower is built; it's ready to go. So now. To show you what's going on here, I have this timer set up really fast. So basically what goes on is, and I'll put this, get it fixed here. So this is a hover clock timer. And what happens is, is that every so often it'll go over to this side. It'll power this repeater, which will go in here. This will power a, a basically, instead of making that a constant signal, make it a pulse. And that pulse will come out and it'll go up the torch towers. The torch towers then make all of the pistons fire. And then the drops will come into here when it's time. So it looks like it's running great. I just have to wait and see what happens. So uh, I'm going to do that now. So uh, while I'm doing AFK and waiting, I'm going to harvest his crops and do a couple other things, but I'm going to basically be uh, watching this to make sure it's still functioning. I harvested the carrots and the potatoes, put the potatoes in with the, uh, the villagers here, and I did a couple things that were back at the uh, main part of the base. Came back over here and we have... 10 watermelon and seven pumpkins. So the system is working fine. The reason why I did more pumpkins than I did melons is because when you do the melons, it, each pumpkin will only, um, when you break it, will only make one pumpkin. But the melons will make numerous melon slices. So you kind of have to wait it a little bit more in the pumpkin side of things. So that's what I have here. We've got 10 and seven, and as it goes on, this will just keep on producing you know, a little amount. This is not my main farm for pumpkins and melons. This will just be a temporary thing, but it's helpful for what I'm trying to do. Okay, let's go see the villagers here. There, I see some hearts. We have one baby villager in there, so we'll get some more villagers coming up, and then we'll uh, put them over into the uh, trading center. So, what's the next thing I want to do? Well, let me go back to the map, and I want to show you the map. Because uh, that'll be a little bit easier to explain with the map. What I've said, and I've said this in a couple of other videos, is that what I want to do is I really want to make a medieval style base. I've never really done that. I've never really, well, I've never been really good at decorating in the first place, but I thought a castle is a great way to start. So I want to, in essence, clear out all of this forest. Okay, so I'd make a nice area that'll give me a lot of wood to work with and to know what's going on. So I'm going to do a little bit of a uh, logging session, if you will. And so we'll do that. Well, then we'll come back and see what we have. And maybe that'll be the end of the video. Maybe we'll have a little more time for some other things. I don't know yet, but that's the goal here. I want to go and get as much of this wood, you know, at least some of it, get it done because I want to start the castle soon. And the in the castle that I'm going to have in the uh, one of the below the dungeon maybe area or whatever, I want to have my storage system, and I really need a storage system because this little storage area is just isn't cutting it. Um, I'm filled up with stuff, and it's just it's just really really bad. So let me uh, get on the camera account, and we'll do a time lapse.
Well, you would think I would learn. Uh, I hit the mute button by accident again, so nothing in this video, in this clip, uh, has my voice on it. But basically what was going on here was I was just getting ready to finalize the video and uh, picking up some items here, just little bits of things. And then we were going to head back and put it all away and I was going to do my closing. I was going to show here that I've got a lot of wood, a lot of stacks of wood. So that was the intention with this part of the video. Then we're going to go back, we're going to go put it away. And then after that, um, I was going to say my goodbye. So I'm going to start that now. Um, if you like this video, please click that like button. That's very, very important. Like I said before, the metrics of YouTube um, are very important for that. And if you have any comments, please put them in the comment section or any uh, other uh, suggestions. That'd be great. And if you'd like to subscribe to this channel because you love these videos, and please do so. Um, don't forget to hit the little uh, icon, the bell icon next to it. So here I was just, uh, after I finished up, I was doing a little bit of um, sending villagers across. Not doing a lot. Um, just kind of seeing what's going around. What are the little baby villagers? How many of those do we have? And then I went back and I started to do my closing. So I will uh, leave it go here. I'll let you watch the rest of this and it will eventually uh, fade out. So again, thank you for joining me. I appreciate it. I had a little couple technical difficulties with this particular video. Um, hopefully those will all be alleviated soon. So have a great day. Bye-bye.